Farming Simulator 25 will release November 12th, and Giant Software, the makers of the game, just released a gameplay trailer of Farming Simulator 25. And in this trailer, I think we're supposed to get some confirmation of features, potentially, that we've been looking for for a very long time. I have not seen this yet. I'm about to take a look at it for the very first time. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Throw over to Farming Simulator and like them as well. Click subscribe. Let's get into it. The Farm Sim 25 trailer. Rated E for everyone. Rated E for everyone. Ooh, oh, we got pigs and little baby animals there. Dude, I saw like, a, was that a tornado? <gasps> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Giants, giants, giants. Did you give me my Natural Disasters DLC? Ah, you kind fellas. That better have been a tornado. Can I actually do storm chasing at Farm Sim? You know how many times I've... That's actually how Jeff Faviano found the, the channel in Farm Sim, by the way. So I'm going to have to send this over to Jeff and show him that there's tornadoes if that's... Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm just excited. Let's continue. We got a beautiful uh, silent and everything. We'll, we'll stop it and, and, and watch throughout the rest of this. Uh, and we'll stop it afterwards. I just... I saw a glimpse of something. And I, I, if you guys know how much I've been asking for it, you know why I'm, been, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Giant Software. Riverbend Springs. Ooh! I want to stop every... S oh, my goodness. Okay, we, we won't. Got little baby animals! That looks so good! That looks great! The lighting. I do like the lighting improvements that I'm seeing. I wish that tire deformed a little more. The baby pigs are so cute. The ears flopping. Oh, man. A lot of these textures are the same. The ground looks the same to me. I, I'm sure there are differences. I think there are differences in the, like, the actual crop foliage and stuff. But y'all know how Farm Sim is. It looks like Farm Sim. I mean, Giant's engine, you can only go so far. An engine's always going to look like how that engine looks, right? This looks great. The rain. Rain looks good, so we're stopping our harvest. Oh, yeah. That's better rain than we've gotten in the past. Oh, it's a tornado! We got naders, boss! We got naders! Yeah! Dude. Oh my goodness. Natural disasters. Please tell me there's more than just tornadoes. Please tell me flooding. There's got to be more. I mean, this is awesome. This is awesome. But promise me there's got to be a little more to it. Like some freaking flooding, crop damage, wind damage. I don't know. Yeah! It damages the crop. So we have a dynamic where we might actually be able to have floods and stuff too. I don't know if that's going to be base game, but like they have the structure there. Dude, those reflections off that off that water, like the put, the droplets and stuff, it being a little wet was really good. Moving bales. The way bales handle have always improved year over year, so I do look forward to that. Okay. Running grain. All this looks very similar to how it's always looked improvements have been made but it's all like it's farm sim the foliage looks great those trees look great the lighting looks great they've done a lot of environmental improvements the baby animals are adorable oh my goodness let's, let's hold on let's run it again let's pause through it this time e for everyone all right so first of all i believe this is probably spinach you can correct me if it's not but spinach is one of the new crops in the game so i think that's probably what we're doing here overall this looks great though we have a a depth of field effect almost going on but i think that may be just fog or it's a depth of field of effect on the camera i don't know which but one or the other got little oh dude they just gave us a tiny little glimpse of that little baby pig running Green look at his floppy everyone. little ears hold on ah so cute and we got little cow plant over here i like those movements they're not just standing around they're a little more active that's nice Beautiful shot of harvesting, I don't know, very thick looking crop, whatever that may be. The trees look really good. Again, you got that kind of just haze, that dust, that fog going along. It'd be really cool if the dust that the uh, this particle emitted out of your like combine, off your tools and off your tires and all that, it would be really cool to see that kind of disperse up and, and over time maybe cause a dust cloud like this. Because you'll get this kind of effect when it's really, really dusty too. So if we have that, that'll be really nice. We got another shot here of a beautiful, it looks like it's the most complicated barn I've ever seen in my life. I don't know exactly what it is, but it is awesome. It's like 
four different levels going on here. We've got three up there, and then the one down here. I don't know. It's like a Hogwarts castle and farm sim, dude, with a little stagecoach up there. That's awesome. Can we? Is that stagecoach a hint? Can we actually hook the horses up to the stagecoach and use the horses a little more? I doubt it. I, I doubt it, but that'd be cool. There's the tornado a little bit. All right. This all looks great. I mean, we had the fog and everything. That was all pretty normal. We have right now a nice on the ground look of the, of the farm or a farm making memories. Really beautiful. Uh, like makes a little picture in there. I love the way they did that. They did a good job too, uh, framing all of that. Beautiful. You've got the stagecoach, a nice red American style kind of barn, older barn. I mean, a lot of these things similar to what we've had in the past. I uh, got a probably a wind, yeah, a little windmill right there on the right. Your porch on your house is right up there to the top right. Judging by those windows and that door, not an enterable home, but that's okay. I kind of expected that. It would be nice if we could and have some more to do, but eh, modders do that. I kind of expected that, so. But that looks beautiful. We've got another shot. The logo, of course. The Farm Sim 25 with the green tractor moving down here that we're going to be using. I like this. I like this. We got, first of all, okay, these fields are very flat right here and very square. Very common Farm Sim stuff for like a base game map, but those are kind of boring a little bit, Um, at least to farm. It is what it is. It really helps you be able to build your farm, though, so... That's nice. But all the, the bluffs that we have going along around here on the top side, I love all that. A nice look at the cows. We got big old cows, little cows. Got some calves, of course. And it looks like the tractor is back there behind that cow, that cow's head. You see that? So yeah, we got calves and, and all that. Look at this little dude jumping through. Love this. Another beautiful shot of this place. You got the wind vane up top. I wonder if that actually points with the directions. Probably not. Another shot of uh, sp the Spanish Harvester. Is that what that is, maybe? I don't know. Oh, that tire, the deal with the tires, I wish I wish we were seeing a little more. In some Farm Sim uh, 22 vehicles, you see more tractor tire deformation. Maybe it just needs to have some weight on it more, and it will deform more. Um, I don't know. Power lines look good, though. Little piggies look adorable. Look at this. Watch this little dude run. Ah! Oh, the ear flops. So good. So all this looks like Farm Sim 25. Honestly, I could pause this right here, and you would be like, yep, Farm Sim 25. Or you might even be like Farm Sim 22. The big differences that you're going to notice are the haze and lighting effects that we have going on. But otherwise, you're really going to look at this and say, yeah, it looks like 22. I mean, the detail in the equipment is very similar. The crop textures are very similar the way it works up there that that actual planted kind of texture there none of that's really different so but you know it looks good i'm not saying that 22 looked bad it just it's the same but we get a nice up close shot of how dynamic all of this is i know that's a word that i i, I hate to use a bunch but what i mean is they're all independently moving they're not just one static deal going across watches you see that they're all moving up and down so really cool again farm sim 22 has that kind of stuff too but nice to see that we have not dipped in quality. The rain looks really good coming in. Um, yeah, honestly, that rain looks really good. I'm curious to see what the clouds look like. The clouds are just kind of gray. I wonder if we... Those are a little, a little more dark and bad. I mean, I feel like maybe they should be darker. This is like a sunset shot. Wait, wait, wait. Run this by me. We got a sunset shot with a tornado. I mean, that looks awesome, but wouldn't. But it's, but it's raining. I feel like it's just too much light in the sky. That's my only critique. I know I'm, I'm. I'm not trying to be picky. I'm just trying to cause. I'm trying to 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 give room for improvement and give feedback. I'm not being picky. The game looks great. It has a natural disaster tornado in it. I'm gonna be happy. Okay. I'm just saying that it. <laughs> The clouds need to be more menacing if you're going to stick a tornado here. Look how that tornado looks, and then look at look at its immediate environment. That's just, uh, it's a good start. It looks fantastic. We have a tornado, and I can't complain about that in the slightest bit. I just wish that the sky was darker, more abrasive, more scary. That's a little better, but I think we're looking into the tornado there. 
we're in the tornado here. I wonder if it actually can pick you up or anything like that. Probably not. This looks really good. They got a ferry, Arkansas. So this bay, this map is based off of Arkansas. They say it right out, right out. Arkansas, look at that. Very cool. All right. Yeah, see? Okay. Down on the ground, this looks great. I like the rain. I like the fog. I like the storm. I like the way the tornado looks. I just can't get over the sky. Those clouds are all... There's not enough darkness. There's not enough scary cloud. I need more storm. That's my only complaint. We do have debris being thrown around in the tornado, though. So if you were curious about that, that happens. There it is. A really good shot of all the debris. I wonder if that debris is just uh, generated or if it picks things up. We'll see. It does. Look at that. It even damaged the trees. I wonder if it'll show it here. We didn't really get a good shot of it here, but in the last shot, so the crop got all damaged. And then look, these trees got damaged as well. Look at that. Those look really good, really jagged, cut off. I like that. Great job. All that looks fantastic. The power lines look good. I wonder if those trees were just that way or if they got damaged. I think they got damaged. I think they were stripped. It looks good. To make that, like, really small wood splinters, usually that that would flicker a lot worse, and it wasn't bad at all. Got the tractor. European-style tractor there. You can tell because of these squares here. And European-style implement. Small gripe, fellas. If we are going to be showing off the American map, map let's be using American-designed equipment. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but we do not use these, to my knowledge. I've never seen a tractor with that kind of warning labels. It's not our regulations. It's not what we do. It would be nice to just get a toggle option between all of the equipment in game, between US and EU variants, to remove those things and apply the appropriate blinkers should they need be needed. This tractor wouldn't need it, but yeah, one little thing there. That's common farm sim though. What are you gonna do? Moving a, a bale here. This looks great. Exact same shed that we've been using. Same kind of shed, except it looks like these ones we actually pull down in here, stack them up. I would hope to see the auto stack barn return. I'm sure that we will see that return. I'd be a, a shame if it didn't. Very nice mod. Or not mod, but feature of the game. This is uh, Seinborgen? Seinbor Seinborgen? Sinborgen? I don't know. I don't know the brand. Sinborgen? Forgive me. Uh, we got a little kind of like flowery hat. Uh, like uh, one of those large sun hats going on down here in the cab. I like the gravel texture. I think the gravel texture looks good. The shadows look solid. Animations are similar to how they've been. I mean, looks good. Uh, no complaints, really. That, that Great Plains we've had for a long time. Hold on, let's see that. Yeah, we've had this thing for a very long time in Farm Simulator, and it looks pretty good. That is okay. It's a weird piece of equipment. I don't even know what it... I've never seen anything like that. I'm curious to try it. It makes me think of the beat stuff, and that scares me, though. John Deere harvesting. Love to see it. We got a observatory, a watchtower here. Looks like probably the same one that we've been have, you know, we've had. Um, got the little goat plan, a little maybe a lamb or something going on here. I don't know specifically. You'll have to let me know what our animals are actually in the game. I don't know all the animal types that we have. All right, now that we've watched the trailer, let's scroll down to the comments and discuss what people are talking about with the game. Let's see what some of the discussion is. So let's go by top comment. And the top comment is everyone talks about tornadoes, but what about the baby animals? So um, apparently, you know, tornadoes and baby animals are the two big talking points. Another one says good physics in a simulator. No tornadoes. Yes. So this is uh, critiquing that they added tornadoes to the game and didn't, or supposedly didn't improve the physics. Now, there's not necessarily anything that proves they didn't improve the physics, as we just watched gameplay, we haven't operated it, but I am inclined to believe that they will probably operate very similar to how we experience them. So I, uh, I think they're probably right. We probably, I mean, good physics is subjective. I think what they're probably saying is they want uh, the physics to be more reactive, more realistic. They want to feel the weight of things. And these are issues that have been constant in Farming Simulator, I will be honest. But they are also things that we have improved on every single iteration of the game. So I personally have a feeling we will see improved physics. If it's good enough for this person to call it good, I don't know, because it's subjective. But 
I highly doubt we won't see some improvements. Another one, we got tornadoes in Farming Simulator before GTA 6. That's a classic. Tornadoes seem to be a big talk of the town. Let's see what this person is saying. Hope that they actually do destruction. You're worried that they're just going to lift some vehicles up. It'd be nice to see things get destroyed and have to fix them, clean the area, and rebuild. That would be cool. I doubt that we will see that. In fact, I honestly also doubt that we will see vehicles be picked up or anything like that. I just don't expect that to be the case. I think it's more like a, oh, it damaged the crop and some trees and like, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't think it's really going to affect your barns. I don't think it's really going to affect your equipment. Um, but we will see. I hope it does. Another comment talking about how the series has to upgrade the physics so it feels like there's resistance. Yeah, uh, weight and resistance. That's a good way to put it. And it would look better if the trees invacted to, reacted to the high winds. Absolutely, the environment should react to the high winds. I think the clouds need improved as well. Right now, it looks like they just like, kind of added a tornado, but it doesn't seem like they supported all of the conditions that need to be met with the tornado, which I understand would be very stressful for the engine to do. So, some obvious limitations that were implemented. I understand why they were, but I also completely agree with and understand wanting those improvements because uh, they would be nice. <laughs> as simple as that. Thought to talk about how we did not see any of this ground deformation. I did notice we saw no ground deformation. I don't know if it just wasn't enabled or if it's a thing that uh, they're still working on or if it's something that they just didn't want to show off or if it's something that has been a little bit of a marketing thing. I don't know. We'll have to see as time progresses. This is a pretty common take. You'll see it right here and right here. And I guess it's it's all over the place. A lot of people discussing about how um, the game is like they only add a couple things to get people to buy the next game and they don't make underlying improvements. I understand where they're coming from. I feel that way in some regard as well with certain aspects, but I also understand their aim, like what they're aiming to provide in the game. And I wish it was more of a simulation as well. You are never going to hear me say otherwise. Farming simulator should be a simulator. Uh, but I do understand the various things that are in the game that are the way they are. And I'd, I'd like to point out that a lot of times when people talk about, oh, all they did was add this and add this and add this, they need to fix the game and make it work better. I agree with that. I'm, I say those words too, but let's actually come up with plans that are achievable, that we can do, you know, criticism of like what actually needs to be adjusted. The physics is a good one that gets talked on a lot that we were talking on earlier. Uh, but like this, there's always this uh, fear about using up resources when adding in these new features. And I think it's important to note that we are no longer allowing the last gen consoles. So we are going to see performance boosts and capability boosts of the Giants engine because of that fact. A lot of times, limitations are based off of hardware. Um, now, I know that's not going to be a complete exact truth because the other half of that is limitations based on the game engine. So uh, we fixed like the hardware side of things, right? We're not supporting last gen consoles, which may or may not be a popular opinion. I think it's the right move. Now, I think we as a community should just like try to actually provide some notes of what we want to see improved with the game engine. There are already years worth of things that we have talked about, of course. I'm not saying that it hasn't been discussed. This comment kind of points it out pretty good. We can we can talk about the game, but let's also provide some substance. You know what I mean? Let's provide some substance to our critiques, which is what I'm trying to expand upon here in the comments a little bit more. This person says that they hope we can turn severe weather off. Usually Giants does provide uh, toggle switches for that kind of thing. Things that make the game more difficult, they usually leave you an option to turn it on or off. I mean, you can even think about seasons as a whole, like the fact that there are months that exist within the year in the game, you can turn that off. So. Giants does a really good job of turning off any features that might complicate the game if you are just trying to focus on the absolute base function of the game. So I do suspect that that will be something we will likely see. This guy says interactive control doesn't look to be implemented, and I was hoping that, that we, would, we would get that as well. Uh, something like how Train Simulator does it is fantastic. Flight Simulator, how they do it is fantastic. And I think Farming Simulator has to do it. 
I, Giants, another note to you. Um, you really need to add this. It is kind of what makes you feel like you're in a simulator is actually looking down and controlling the tractor and not just pressing buttons on your keyboard. Train simulator, flight simulator, you can also press buttons on your keyboard, but we need that interactive control of the equipment itself so it feels like a proper simulator. I think that is a valid criticism. But as you can see, there are a bunch of comments. I mean, just scrolling through and through and through, all kinds of them. If I read your comment specifically, I'm not trying to pick you out or cause any problems. I'm just discussing this further, trying to build upon the discussion so that Giants has uh, stuff to go back to, to see what people think, see what people say, and for you guys to provide your opinions in the comments down below, again, for the same reason. So. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. If you're excited for FarmSim 25, you can pick it up pre-order using the link down below or wherever you want to buy it. And let me know what you guys thought of the gameplay trailer. Let me know what I might have missed and anything that I may have gotten wrong or need a little bit more information on. By the way, look at this game image. What is that bird in the top left? What are those? What is going on? Can we get enough birds in this game? that I can feel like I'm in the movie Rio. That's my last request. Thank you. <laughs> no, but for real though, giants, baby animals, okay? Natural disaster with the tornadoes, love it. Hopefully we get more natural disasters like flooding since we have the field flooding ability now and um, the field damage, like the crop damage in it, right? Hopefully we get some other stuff like maybe drought, maybe pests, all those other things that can of course be expanded upon. But anyways, I look forward to it and I will see y'all in the next one.